Hi, I'm Negative Chan, and I'm going to do some reviews for manga. And first manga is Aoi Hikaru ga Chikyu ni Itakuro, which is in English Aoi oh, when Hikaru was on the earth. It's a very short manga, it has only three volumes. Uh, genres are like school, shonen, supernatural, mystery, it's very interesting. And authors are Nomura Mizuki, uh, she's known also for Bungeku Shoujo, if I'm not mistaken, and Chun made art. And this manga, short manga, was serialized in Gankan Online, which is, I think, also known uh, for. Uh, oh my god, what it was? Uh, Barakamon, I think. There is a lot of. Other um, mangas which I don't know, but for example, Barakamon, that could be. And what is this manga about? So, even it's very short, it was really great. We have a main character, Kuramitsu Akagi, who unfortunately he always looks very scary, his eyes. So people avoid him, and he doesn't have any friends. There are rumors about him that he's a delinquent, and going out with the mafia, and you know, beating up a lot of people, and people are scared of him. And <laughs> that's when he, I mean, he went to another school to transfer. But still, people, there is still the rumors about him, which is not good. And he met a guy, Hikaru Mikado, very nice looking. Uh, you know, he was a prince at this school, every girl loved him. And uh, he's asking him for help. And he does it, he's not scared of him, which is great. And uh, that's why Akagi is like, okay, I want to know why this guy not scared of me and why. He is wanting to like meet me later, but unfortunately, the next day, he carries dead, which is not good. And yeah, Akagi is like, I wanted to know what this guy wanted from me, but yeah, he's dead now. A bad thing. He even goes to his funeral, and when he's get back and he's at home, in bath. Hikaru's ghost appeared, and it's really funny this manga. Yeah, and from that, Kuremitsu helps Hikaru to attain his dream or what he wanted to do when he was alive because he there was a girl he liked, and she has she had a birthday or has whatever. And he wanted to give her like seven or six presents, and he only gave her, I think, one. So he went from Kuremitsu to give her another present in his name. So Kuremitsu is like, I don't want to do it, but yeah, he carries pursuing him. So he's like, okay, I want, I will do it, and I hope you will like, you know, disappear, see the light or whatever. <laughs> And from that, it started to be very interesting. I mean, even the story sounds very simple, and it is simple. It begins very interest. It it started like very, you know, all the shojo is so simple, and then it was like very interesting. And the more story was going, I wanted to know know more and more about the characters and was really deep into it because characters characters are really awesome in this manga I mean Akagi is this guy who is like scaring everybody just by his look and he's a pure guy I mean and he wanted to pursue the Satame eye which is that girl he care liked and she was his fiance because they were from I don't know like very rich people but actually 
she hated Hikaru because he was a womanizer or because he talked with every girl because he liked them. So she really didn't want to hear anything about him, so Akagi was, was like trying so much to get to her and it was really funny. And there were more more really interesting characters like Shikibu Honoka who helped uh, Akagi to get to that girl. She was I think on internet known for like um, love helper even she didn't even date anyone in the past so it was really funny and actually she fell lo in love with Akagi because she was a really strong girl and she wasn't scared of him and there is a Saiga Asai very mysterious girl who is like um, she's really helping Satome oh, that girl Hensei of Hikaru but actually I don't know what to think about her because she's very mysterious and she's like uh, trying to she really didn't um, want to Akagi to get to Satome anyway. so she is she stabbed him many times but in the end Akagi really did what he wanted to do and it was awesome I mean when there was a scene that I was given the last present she was standing with Akagi I think it was last present she was standing with Akagi in front of beautiful oh my god how is it called you know the thing where is the water in the <laughs> in the uh, center of streets not streets oh my god you know and it was beautiful the water was spreading and she was standing there and the ghost of Hikaru was like hugging her it was so heartbreaking because he really really loved her and she can't see him because he was dead and it was so sad and I mean I usually don't like shoujo mangas or anime because they are so naive and he is so stupid but this one was really really great and the characters are awesome because they, they are not static they, they are like they are learning things they are progressing and that's what I really like because you know I need characters to progress not just to be static so it was really interesting and uh, the art is very great I really like it even it's shoujo style of course even it's written shonen right here so I don't know but I really don't know it's called shonen but it has really sh much of shoujo traits uh, shoujo art shoujo characters everything is like shoujo and it's shonen I don't understand it but still the art is awesome I really like it I usually don't like the shoujo style art but this was really great so I really recommend it for you to read it and yeah this is well this was like one of the best shoujo I've read and yeah it's <laughs> when I say this it means something because I don't like shoujos they are just too naive for me and yeah it's the ending was really funny because you learned that even the Akagi like done all the uh, give her all the presents and everything was just done Hikaru didn't disappear because he actually liked uh, more girls and well he just you know had to do a lot of things for them so that was <laughs> that was really funny and even that you can take it like the end, even it's opened end. But there is a novel, and that novel continues the story of the manga, which actually makes me mad because I would love to know more about this. I mean, there is a mystery that uh, was did really Hikaru was his dad really an accident, or was he killed by Saiga Asai or? whatever I really wanted to know that but you know sorry you need to read novel and it's actually very hard because I'm not Japanese 
Well, it is translated, this novel, but the novel I think has like 10 volumes. Only four of them I think were translated and I really don't want to like wait so long for the end. I, I mean, I hate waiting. When I'm reading some manga which is like monthly released, I hate it. Even I love the manga. So I just can't wait for it. It made me really mad that you need to read novel to actually know the end. Oh my god, I hate this. But actually, this manga is awesome. I'm definitely going to read the Bungeka Shoujo by the same author. And yeah, I think you really need to read this because it's very exceptional shoujo. And I think I gave it, yeah, I gave it 9 out of 10. So that's how it great it was. I really like it. <laughs> so that's about Aoi. Other manga is Six No Trigger or Six Trigger or uh, how is it? Dracula Trigger. It has four volumes. It's action sufficient. Authors are Telly. Actually, I don't know anything about her. Just she made Salty Road or Change Age, which I haven't read those mangas, but I would go for it because this Six No Trigger was a really good manga. And this manga was released in Gesson. And I think it's uh, known for. Oh my god, I don't know. There's a lot of manga I don't know. Idle Eye, Les Miserables, Vanilla Friction. I don't know these mangas, which is probably bad. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of mangas here. So, I don't know this, you know, magazine, not much manga. So, what is this manga about? Mm, it's about assassins. And there's this guy, Tsubame, who is really, really, really great assassin. And he has mechanical arm. And what is funny, when he changes the arm, his whole appearance changes to another people, so it's like he is like many people in one. There is a penguin who is small boy and very good sniper. There is an owl, very huge man with gatling gun, and he loves to, you know, he loves to kill villains because justice. And there is a girl Suzume who will its dual guns. And she's credited for killing me. <laughs> she's funny. And this guy is like going for his, you know, job. And but the past, there is a past. You know, always there is a bad past or past who finds you anyway. So he's fighting against some bad organization who actually was raising him or. It was a part, it was like some weird kind of, uh, I don't know, where children were and they were raising them assassins and he was a part of that Tsubame. And when they raised him it was like, I don't want to be the part of this anymore and just fled away. And this rising camp was a part of bigger, way more bigger organization, evil organization. And they are just trying to catch him or you know, make some kind of work with him and he doesn't want to do that. And actually the story goes more and more deeper and interesting because there is more characters and it's very good. The characters are very strong part of this story because there's so many of them and they're so great. I really love them. I really like Tsubame even he was like killing people. I mean, this is he is not just the you know normal hero who saves the world. He's just when he has his job and he kills. I mean, even the guy who is going to kill looks sympathetic in some way. He kills them because it's his job, and I really like it because it's quite a dark 
and it's more realistic. He has a helper, a Mimosa Sarada, which is just the girl who really gives him a like you know work um, his partner. But actually, in the end, looks that she is way more important than it than she was. And the character, there is a lot of them. I really liked. I mean, the yeah, that organization actually wanted to find the maker of the hands. I don't know. It's called some weird name, mm, but it's not here. And they wanted to find that girl. It was a girl who made it because some guy wanted to be immortal, of course. But in the end, it was funny because he said, Tsubame said, well, you know, this girl is dead. Yeah, she is dead and there is nobody who knows how to build them. Haha, <laughs> sadly. So I really love because the main villain was like, I want to be immortal when I gain this kind of thing because the soul of dead people or people could be like, transferred into those mechanical arms so technically yeah they would be immortal even they are stuck in another bodies which was really great concept I mean he was like yeah I want to be immortal and then <laughs> when Tsubame said him this girl is you know dead and nobody would make those things again because nobody knows about them he was like no way no way it's not a I do not accept it. It was so funny and yeah this villain was very I didn't like it. At first he was great, but after that when he started I want to be immortal I actually really hate it because I don't like this kind of villains. I mean he was kind of before very you know, he had a charisma. But after that when he was like immortality there, immortality here that was annoying as hell. And I don't like villains who only wants immortality or, I mean, w like, the whole world to be the king of them or whatever. So it was pathetic, very pathetic for that villain. And I really like the backstory of Tsubame or when he find that girl who made those weird arms. It was really great and she just wanted to make those arms. It was funny because she wanted to make those arms because she wanted a children. She wasn't able to make children normally because she was ill or something. So she just made artificial a human soul and put it in the hand, which was like super extreme strong guy who just sliced chopper in a half or something like that. It was cool. Or it was her brother? It was her brother. but. Other way, it's very actiony, and the action in this manga is awesome. I really love it. Its panels are greatly, yeah. You just know what is going on. It's not messed up. The work, artwork, is extremely good, and I really love it. It was nice. I mean, I would see. I would like to see Anatoly's work. Work. <laughs> And yeah, I, I was thinking when I started to read, okay, this probably wouldn't be, you know, something great, but it was. And there is a lot of past in other characters. Same characters are, uh, well, uh, quite a pillary, like that weird guy with star hair. It was He was really definitely a pillar guy. But there is a more like... Uh, the weird guy G he's called or Kui Kui K and he just wanted to kill Tsubame. He was so angry and <laughs> what I really loved he always was like almost killed. He lost his arm, he was so badly hurt and he still wanted to kill him. It was so funny because he was ultimate punch bag for everyone. <laughs> Poor guy. And he wanted so much to kill Tsubame. I, I loved it so much. And there's another guy who wanted to kill Tsubame, but he has a little kid who sa he saved, and 
uh, when he was like uh, going to meet Tsubame and fight with him, Tsubame was like, okay, I'm not going to kill you because this child looks really good and you're probably a friend with it and I just don't care about it anymore. <laughs> so yeah, he didn't kill him even it looks like he would get he would and that was really gay because I really like it. So yeah, those assassins are actually assassins so they do kill. No mercy. Usually no mercy and I really love it. And that's why I give it nine out of ten. And it's really sad that there is no more of this story because I would love to know more about the characters what happens after the end. Because they're so interesting and yeah, I really would love to know more. The characters are awesome. There is a progress of course too. So yeah, that's all of her signal trigger. And last manga is another. Okay, this would be really hard for me. Because another is very well known because of anime. And actually, before I started to read this manga, I watched that one scene when teacher in the school just, you know, killed himself by knife. A lot of blood spreading, it was crazy. So when I, like, see, it has four volumes, see, it's, it's mystery, drama, horror, school and singing. I love horror, so I was like... Oh my god, I want to read some horror manga because I love Uzumaki or Spoiler. So I was really hot for this manga. I read a lot about it, that people praise it. It's really like it's very good manga. I was so thrilled, I was so scared and whatever. So I started to read it. Uh, yeah, authors are Kyohara Hiro and Ayatsuji Yukito. Ayatsuji Yukito. Or uh, did like another manga, Skanka Kikitan Yui Hiro no Sasayaki, but actually I don't know any of this. And it was serialized in Young Young Case. And it's probably known for um, Oh Young Case. Come on. Oh yeah, Blood Lead. Blood Lead. That's manga I would love to read. Blackwood Shooter, Bungaku Stray Dogs. Oh yeah, there is an anime on that. So that's this magazine about. So to the story. Uh, okay, we have um, Koichi Sakakigabara. Sakakibara, yeah. And who transfers to class 3 3 at Yomiyama North Middle School? And he actually do not know anything about his school, but well, you know, uh, people in this school are weird and there is some horrible secret, but they don't talk about it. And they're just acting like he knows everything even he didn't know, which is weird. And he met like those weird girl, Misaki Mei. He talks with her, but what is weird? Everybody is like acting. She doesn't, you know, she is not real. And he's like, is she ghost or whatever? But actually, like when the story goes on in the house, he realized that this free free class is cursed, and every year. They are doing this like weird kind of game, whatever, not being killed because of ghost curse. So uh, this Misaki Mei is a student who is going to be like not seen, doesn't exist. And uh, there should there is like another one. Who is actually the one who is uh, dead, and they are supposed to call him or something like that to actually be free of the curse, but they didn't know that they should kill him. 
And it's so, I mean, it's so confusing because the words here are like the one who you should kill, the one who you should not see and talk about and whatever. I was so, so lost in it. And that's why I wasn't able to actually, like, kid it my head. So yeah, I started to reading. I was like, okay, where is the horror scary thing? Because I've I, for a whole manga, I haven't found anything scary. It wasn't scary at all, actually. And I mean, that's bad for horror when I'm not scared, because for horrors, the main thing is to scare you. And when you are not scared, actually, it's bad. So I wasn't scared, actually. There's a lot of mystery, but I wasn't thrilled to. I didn't care about characters. I was so lost in everything that I actually didn't care about anything. Yeah. There are a lot of deaths, people die here. It's quite funny because when there was that girl who fell from the stair and her neck was impaled by an umbrella, I was laughing. Like literally, and actually that's very bad when you are laughing at horror, so that means you are not scared anymore. And yeah, this was so confusing. Many characters, some of them were interesting. But still, I was for whole reading trying to find something what would scare me, what would get me into the story, but I was confused and I didn't get it. I was like, so why didn't they say to this main guy what's happening? And then he didn't know, he didn't know he shouldn't be talking to me and he didn't know what's going on and so in the end I was like talking, yeah, it's your fault that people are dying, but they didn't say anything, so how how was he able to know about it? Like seriously guys, seriously? Just look at yourself first, that you didn't say it to him. If you would, he would probably act as, you know, you, probably, maybe, I don't know. So, characters in this are so stupid, it breaks my brain. Literally. And yeah, when there is a manga you don't like characters, you don't understand it, you are so lost in it that you don't know what's going on, you are laughing in that which should be horrible, you don't find anything horrible and scary in it because, and it's horror, it's very bad. By the way, art is awesome. Like really, I really love the art. I really, really, really love it. and. The most beautiful were the colorful panels, the pages. I was like, oh my god, it's too great. So, art is awesome. Well done. But still, I would go to watch anime because I've read it's different from manga. Maybe it's better, I hope. Uh, but I'm not sure because when there is like a lot of blood spreading around and that's all, what is it about? I didn't like it. I mean, Gans was even more better than this and there's a lot of gore, but the characters and the story were more entertaining. So that's probably all. I didn't like this manga. I don't know what people will see in that. Because I read horror and I mean, have you ever read Stephen King's books? This is not scary. Another is not scary. It is scary or I don't know. Uh, Doctor Sleep, no, Doctor Sleep, no, the book before it. Shining is extremely scary. Our pet cemetery is disgusting, and that's horror. Not this little thing which is so confusing. I don't know what to think about it. So yeah, that's probably because I love horror. I read a lot of horror books, watch a lot of horror movies read a lot of horror mangas before and this wasn't for me scary at all. And when is when the horror thing is not scary for you, it's boring, you know? So this was extremely boring for me. But I gave it 6 out of 10 because I'm a nice human being and I like the art, something in it were interesting. Like the ending when he killed his aunt was great. I like didn't know what would happen. It was that was really good, but the whole thing was so confusing. I was lost in it, and I didn't care about. 
So yeah, I I'm sorry if I like didn't like your favorite manga, but I wasn't I wasn't into it. I wasn't able to get into it into characters, and yeah, that's very bad because I need it if I want to enjoy something. So yeah, this is all mangas for today. Uh, I hope you like it. My reviews they are really fast because those are really short mangas. I would do Gantz review, I hope it will be longer, and Ajin review, a uh, TV show which was great in the future. So, yeah. And I hope if you know some really good horror manga, please write it down in the commentary because I love horrors. And I hope you would like or uh, recommend me something better than another because I don't like it much. So yeah, that's all for today and have a nice day. Bye!